It takes a crane to build a crane. It takes two floors to make a story. It takes an egg to make a hen. It takes a hen to make an egg. There is no end to what I'm saying. It takes a thought to make a word, and it takes some words to make an action, and it takes some work to make it work. It takes some good to make it hurt. It takes some bad for satisfaction. Well, see, I am currently for shorthand. I can also in chain. I didn't take a moment. All sectors. All sectorial skills. Yeah. You know, I went. Okay, now I got you. And then I went and I didn't win school. Oh, I had a little bit of in the second hand. And that's what I should really tell me. Because I do. I wish. Yeah. Well, I could have took something like that from that. I wish I could have had the encouragement. Because they encouraged me to have stayed in school and taken that when I reached the ninth grade. If I'd have had the money, I would have been something like welding or electrical words. Or I would have went in the secretarial. Oh, bullshit. Because you said in your head, you don't do nothing, you don't make a dime. Secretaries don't make any money. At the, at the present, they don't. No. But at the time, if somebody would have encouraged me in secretarial work, I was in one of the most top paid sectors in the area <coughs> by now because I had the urge to go for that. Oh, what encouragement did I get? No. Because you're a woman. Yeah, you know, I was 14 years old. I quit school. No, I graduated and I got married. I did. Okay. I graduated and I got married and I worked. I was married eight years. Okay, well, I worked in a restaurant, you know, what the, you know. Well, see, I quit school at 14, so I could look for a job. Then go to work. Nobody would hire me because I was too damn young. Even for a uh, dime store, they wouldn't. Okay, like, I'm saying, 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 I'm for women, or even men, her huh? electrical training or welding, mm -hmm. or nothing. Okay, at the time, within a year after I quit school, I could have taken through the mail a course on practical nursing for three hundred dollars total price. My stepdad was making money. Oh, okay. My stepdad was making working oil bill. He was making enough money, he could have paid for it easy. But him and mother both decided, no, you don't need that. It won't do you any good. Okay, then there is that terror course offered through the mail. Same thing. You don't need that. It won't do you any good. Anything I came up with that would have advanced me in any way, you don't need that. What are you supposed to eat? So then, you get married and have kids? So then I ended up running away from home on the morning that my grand my stepdad crawled in the bed on one side and I had to crawl out the other. Then he tried to beat the hell out of me with the broom because I wasn't dressed. And I was dressed in a house coat that was uh, like one of the heavy Indian back blankets. Long sleeves down below the knees, belt around the waist, blanket type house coat. I didn't have no clothes on. And these all off start beating me with broom. Get some goddamn clothes on. So as soon as he left the house to take off about seven miles away to go pick up mother and bring her back home. I was dressed all right, I had on my jeans, a shirt, shoes, socks. Oh what he didn't know was I had on two pairs of jeans, two pairs of socks, two shirts. As soon as he left the house, I grabbed a jacket and what change I had, which amounted to about ten cents a penny. And I took off, and I went headed down across the pasture, down towards the back of the, the field where we're behind it. Hit the railroad tracks, I split. Eight months before they heard from me again. By then, I'd done gone through a fake marriage. 
And in time, I didn't know it was fake. Found out later it was. In my part, it was serious. And, uh, so between Mother and Roy, they, uh, ended up running guy off. And then I told my I was pregnant. Then I went to the house, dumped the bottle of iodine into about a half glass of water and turned it up and drank it. I didn't even get a fire stomach out of it. <laughs>